SR93 Boxing, I'm back with a quick video. Um, let me go into Kelbrook's statement that he said recently about American. He's a media whore. It's comical? Comical. He's become America Dashian. He has so much drama around him, he's in the papers for the wrong reasons. He also goes on to say, I heard, and I hear he is a bit skint now, being some problems with his dad. So the way he's talking, I think he wants a big money fight now. He knows I will beat him up, but he may be willing to take his doing for the money. We've heard this stuff from him before, so I don't know if he will do do it now, but I hope so. I've always wanted to fight him. Kelbrook's statement. Now, everything he said, he could turn. you could actually turn it around and bring it on Kelbrook. If anything, it... The, what he said about him, how he described American as media whore, um, American Kardashian, yeah, you could say maybe, but I think it could be it could best describe Kel Brook more than American. Let me explain. Let me explain what I mean. He's referring to American as American Kardashian. Now Kim Kardashian was famous for I mean sucking a dick of a famous person. She basically did not. Re I mean, look at someone like Beyonce. She. I mean, she obviously did um, collaborations with famous people and whatnot, but she did her own bit, you know. To she did a she did a thing. If you get what I mean, she did a thing. She was singing. She was a talented. She's a talented artist, and she was putting out material that people were um, consuming of value. People, at least people, held it to a value. Now, Kim Kardashian didn't really do anything special. I mean, I don't see her as a good sing. I don't think she's a good singer. I don't know if she's a good actor. I don't think. I don't think she's a good actor, and I don't think most people think. Most people see Kim Kardashian as really a talentless human being, hasn't done much, and only got famous of someone else. Remind you of anyone? Kel Brook is who that reminds me of. Honestly, Kel Brook's calling him um, uh, like as if Amir Khan has made his name off someone else. Like as if Amir Khan hasn't done shit and. Made his name on someone else. You know, it's one thing if you're um, if you're calling someone out who's like a bigger name than you, but you're also like doing your thing and everything. You find decent fighters. That's different. Kelbrook, on the other hand, I remember every time he came on the papers, it's because he put American's name on his mouth. It's exactly what he did. That's exactly what Kelbrook did. Kelbrook's a. I mean, I can't stand this guy, man. All these times he's been fighting bums. All these times, and he didn't do shit. All he did was mention the Khan's name. Khan's right. He made Kel Brook. That's the honest truth, to be honest. And let's go into some, um, you know, so for anyone to say, oh, Amir Khan's a Kardashian, let's look at what Kel Brook's done. Hasn't done shit in boxing. Two good fighters he's faced, lost to one of them. So he technically beat one good fighter who's, in my opinion, very overrated. Guy should have lost to Julio Diaz. And... He's a good fighter. Sean Porter's a good fighter. He's a little bit overrated, you know. And uh, Kelbrook, in my opinion, in the UK gets too much credit. Hasn't done shit. Hasn't done fuck all. Kelbrook's just doing this to take the piss, you know. He, he's a bit jealous. He has to be a bit jealous of America. And he knows what he's doing is bullshit. What he's saying is all bullshit. Because he's comparing him with Kardashian, but knowing that Kardashian got famous for nothing, apart from being associated with someone else's name, her, she herself hasn't done shit to get that name. That describes Kel Brook as well. So, um, yeah. And also he goes, I hear he's a bit skinned now. You know, he's trying to say that American might be a bit, a little bit broke compared to before. So he needs Kel Brook. To be honest, like, American will get paid if he still fights anyone. Whether he's on the top 15 or not. Like, it doesn't matter. Kel Brook. And you, you know, you can turn that to Kel Brook as well. You can... Because... Kelbrook has never taken... Look, he fought Sean Porter. He went in there as the B-side. Didn't take a chance. Took the uh, belt. He got stabbed. I gave him a pass for the Joe Jordan fight. But then he fought Frankie Gavin. Then he fought Kevin Bizier. On those t moments, you know, a, a period of probably... Um, what? Two years? He was negotiating with Jesse Vargas, Diego Chavez, Brandon Rios. I think Timothy Bradley as well. And he didn't fight either one of them. Diego Chavez, he somehow avoided. It was a brilliant move of him. This guy did his best to not take a chance. Did his best to not take a chance. And guess what? 
he ended up the only time, right? And everyone's saying he would move up when he fights uh, when Errol Spence becomes a mandatory. He will try to av- avoid Errol Spence as much as possible. And he went up to fight Golovkin. You know, he trying to say in here that American is, might fight Kell Brook because he's a bit poor and he's just there for the money. Um, didn't you do that against Triple G? I don't believe for once that this guy did it to dare to be great. Bullshit. You dare to be great. You you know, taking chances. You met all of Triple G's demands and everything. You could meet his demands, but you can't meet Jesse Vargas's demands. You can't make Diego Chavez's demands. You full of shit, man. You straight up full of shit. Kell Brook's full of shit, man. If he did it, if we could say the same thing about Amir Khan in a way. Oh, he fought Canelo, but then again, we can say the same thing about Kell Brook. And also, Amir Khan's taking chances. He's taking more chances in his career than Kell Brook, point blank period. He went up to Lamont Peterson's hometown to fight him. He did He did loads of shit, man. How many people you know, yeah? How many boxers you know that are not in the Hall of Fame list? That have fought a puncher at the age of 21. With 17 knockouts, 19 fights. I think most of them came out within less than four rounds. Most of those knockouts. I mean, I may come for a press call and he lost. I mean, who knows, right? At the age of 21, who Kelbrook was fighting? And how would you know? Kelbrook's been down already by a guy who's got pillows for fists as well. So it's not like... What I'm trying to say is, when you're young, you're inexperienced. You, know, you don't know how to react to punches as well as like a guy with experience would. So when people talk shit like that, it's kind of ridiculous. Like it's like, what the fuck now? So you know, Kelbrook, he's just talking shit again. Kelbrook did it for the money. And because, you know, it, he's saying that it took him an hour. Eddie Hearn's been saying it took Kelbrook one hour to make the Triple G fight. And yet, did you see how long it took to make the Errol Spence fight? Did you see that? He clearly did it for the money. Because Triple G is a bigger threat, no doubt. He's a bigger guy, stronger guy. He's a bigger threat. Yeah, man. And uh, I forgot something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I remember. He's saying, um, I think he said something like, he's a media whore, it's comical. He's become an American Kardashian. He has been in drama. No, wait, so sorry, sorry. He has so much drama around him. He's in the papers for the wrong reasons. Um, Kell Brook, I remember, was... Uh, I don't know if he was on the papers. And we, he wasn't on the papers because he didn't do shit to be famous in boxing. And the only thing he did was mention the Khan's name. But I remember reading media articles about him getting um, arrested for trying to... Ass- for assaulting a bar manager who would not try and let him go to the ladies' toilet. Kelbrook was so desperate to go to the ladies' toilet that he actually physically assaulted the bar manager. I think it was the bar manager or whoever it was. And, um, I mean, I'm not saying st- getting stabbed and shit is all positive. I, to be honest, I never wish that on anyone. But, hey, getting stabbed is not any right reason e- anyway. So, he got stabbed in Spain. He got stabbed in... I remember he got stabbed in the UK as well. Anyone can get stabbed, right? So I don't think it's glorified. But at the same time, it's a negative. It's not a positive reason either. It's a negative reason. He's so Kelbrook's been in the media for the wrong reason as well. Kelbrook's fucking full of shit, man. It really is. He's literally the biggest fraud, the biggest motherfucking lying fraud out there in boxing. Kelbrook. He's a good fighter. I give him that. He's a really good fighter. But he's a, he's a fraud, a proper fraud. Talking about, people are not pissed off that Americans actually allowing Errol Spence to, um, or at least UK fans are pissed off that Americans are allowing Errol Spence to train. How would you say no? If Errol Spence wanted to train, how would you say no? And it's not like if, uh, you know, if an American fighter was fighting an um, American, Kelbrook wouldn't allow him to, Kelbrook would probably spar him and try to tell him how to beat an American and at least, at least give him, give that guy his own advice. So, you know, he needs to shut the fuck up. Kelbrook, I can't stand... You know, it's one thing to... I respect him as a fighter. I think he's a good fighter. But, you know, he... I don't like liars, bro. I don't like liars. I don't like people who just talk his shit. Like, trying to put someone else down knowing that that someone else is actually achieved more. Just living off someone else's name. Just living off someone else's name. And putting the... And who, who you're living off, you're trying to put them down as well. I've come across people like that, man. 
Just can't stand them. But yeah, I'm a Sun 93 boxing. I'm out.